a lot of what the branding success campaign that, that Burns initiated is about is scholarships. Uh, and as many of you know, that's been, been my focus since I've been, been here at OSU in Tulsa. Uh, but I'd like to introduce a student right now and, and talk to you a little bit about, about what scholarships mean. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Kara Bear. Uh, Kara is the recipient of the Rural Health Scholarship. Uh, she's the 2008-2009 president of the OSU chapter of the Undergraduate American Academy of Osteopathy and the 2008 chair of the Student Osteopathic Medical Association. Whew. You're keeping busy. You do a little work on the side? <laughs> Karen. Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kara Bear, and as of last Friday, I am officially a proud alumni of the OSU College of Osteopathic Medicine. I think my mom was really hoping that I would introduce myself as Dr. Bear today. In the last week, I think she's told everyone from the checkers at research to the mailman that her daughter just graduated from medical school. So there's nothing quite like a proud mom. I'm here today to briefly share with you how the Rural Health Scholarship impacted my life. And I think for you to kind of get an idea of who I am and what it really meant to me, I should start with a little background. So um, I grew up in Broken Arrow, and from the time I was three years old, I dreamed of being a doctor. When I was eight, my brother was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and on the day of his diagnosis, I promised him that I would be a doctor for kids with diabetes one day, and that if there wasn't a cure yet, I would find one. Um, in the years that followed, I worked diligently toward that goal, spending my school days with my nose in a book, and my summers at Camp Lobegon, which is a day camp for children with diabetes. Um, during that time when I was at Lobegon, I learned that access to care was a significant obstacle for many of the campers who lived in small towns across Oklahoma. And thus, that's where my um, love of rural medicine began. So I quickly realized that if I wanted to be the best pediatric endocrinologist I could be, I was going to have to break down some of those barriers that were preventing my patients from getting care. During my second year at OSU, Dr. Pettit introduced uh, a program called the Rural Health Option, and that was a program to, designed to allow students further opportunities for education and training in the practice of rural medicine. Of course, I immediately enrolled in the course, and it was my interest in rural health and my participation in that program that ultimately were the reasons I was selected to receive the Rural Health Scholarship. And the scholarship could not have come at a more perfect time. I was just preparing to begin my clinical rotations. As a student with an interest in providing medical care to underserved areas of Oklahoma, I knew it was critical that I complete a number of my clinical rotations with rural physicians. This can become a very costly endeavor as it's the student's responsibility to cover travel and living expenses when they're on away rotations. The Rural Health Scholarship helped ease this significant financial burden, making it possible for me to complete rural rotations in Miami, Cleveland, Salisaw, and Tahlequah during my third and fourth years of medical school. I found great role models in my rural preceptors and learned more than I could have ever imagined. The experiences I had in rural Oklahoma were invaluable, and they further solidified my ultimate goal of dedicating a significant portion of my practice and time to rural medicine. It's amazing to think that all of that was made possible by the generosity of individuals just like you. Because a few individuals were willing to give back to OSU, it was possible to provide a student like me with the Rural Health Scholarship. Because of that scholarship, I was able to afford travel expenses so that I could complete elective rural rotations. Because of the training I received on those rotations, I will be better equipped and fully prepared to care for patients in rural Oklahoma as a pediatric endocrinologist. Because of a few generous individuals, my life as well as the lives of my future patients will be forever impacted. On behalf of all of those whose lives have been touched by your donations, thank you. And please keep giving back to OSU. Your donations really do make a difference. <laughs> 